Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, Divine Timing Tarot family. I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. We are here doing a general reading for Virgo. This is for the first two weeks of February 2024. Virgo, I've already shuffled sage prayed over your cards. So let's get an overall energy for Virgo. Just one, guys. Just one. Oh, compassion. And you have prosperity. As when I was pre shuffling, the um, prosperity card came out. So let's get some. Um, the magical meanings. The magical meaning of prosperity. Mm. Pay attention to your dreams, Virgo. Prosperity. The magical meaning. Stop focusing on money. You'll be supplied with what you need. Okay? Be careful what you wish for. A lucrative deal is on offer. Understand the law of attraction. Um... So, yeah, you got prosperity that was at the bottom of the deck, and we have compassion here. So, what is the magical meanings of compassion? It's safe to open up to others. An emotional upheaval is healed. See another person's point of view. Honor your feelings. Someone needs your support. Mm. There are lessons to be learned. Um, it's something here with prosperity and compassion. You've already learned a lesson on something here. Um, don't let everybody know what you have, okay? Everyone does not need to know your financial situation, okay? Hmm. I'm also hearing if you can help a person and you know that person is sincere, that person not using you, Okay, then do it because it seems like you're you're very abundant at this time. Give me some love messages for Virgo, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Mm, you have obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped with obsessive thoughts. And you have true love. Let's put those up there. We got obsession, true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Huh. And you have an apology. You can expect an apology you want to hear. Like I said, be careful, okay, of... Mm. People coming in and wanting to try to get over on you, okay? I don't know. I keep I keep hearing that. Something here is um, strictly on a sexual level. You've already learned a lesson, okay? You've already learned a lesson that you don't need to learn something else again. It says this connection is passionate but not enduring. Look, passion. Try something you've never done before. Mm. Yeah, you've been awakened. You've definitely had a spiritual awakening. You are protected and you are protecting yourself. Hmm. Give me some clarification on this obsession. 
God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, give me some clarification on this obsession for Virgo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if I did not say that. And this is for whenever you see this video. It is for the first two weeks of February. Your cards are falling all over the place. Um, someone's emotions is all over the place here concerning you, Virgo. Someone's emotions is all over. Give me some clarification on obsession for Virgo, God angels, and such as Holy Spirit. Um, I also see self-love. It says this person is someone that you can enjoy life with wholeheartedly. You two can get through anything together. It says life partner. And then we have memories. This is definitely somebody in your past. Someone is walking down memory lane at this time. It's okay to rem reminisce about the past by looking at old photos or messages. Huh. Someone, ooh, 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 look, reconciliation. Somebody's wanting to reconcile. Y'all have compassion for this person because you definitely don't want, you. I don't see you wanting to go back to this person because something here, somebody is definitely attracted to you sexually. Definitely attracted to you sexually. They feel that you are their true love. They want to apologize to you. Just have compassion for this person, okay? That's all I want to say. Give me um, some clarification on true love. Okay, so you're going to be getting to know someone, or some of you guys are already getting to know someone. Have compassion. Yes, you've been through a lot. Everyone is not the same. Everybody is different, okay? Enjoy discovering new commonalities, goals, and dreams as you get to learn more about each other. So there is somebody here that you're going to be getting to know. Just have compassion because you've been through a lot, okay? And like I said, you got an old person trying to come back in too. Yeah, they um, miss chances here. It says, have you considered all your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we only regret the chances that we didn't take. Someone feels that they missed an opportunity with you, and somebody here is about to shoot their final shot with you, okay? Just period. <laughs> now, is the, now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder, what if? Yeah. Why is, who wants to give Virgo an apology? Who wants to give Virgo an apology? Mm, someone that wanted to build a future with you. Mm, this one is a keeper. Maybe you thought it was a keeper. Man, maybe you thought you were moving to the next level with someone. Someone thought you were a safe place. Someone kind of... Um, took advantage. Someone took advantage of your kindness. There's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you are protected by your partner's love. Yeah, someone, someone step overstepped their boundaries. You know, thinking because you're kind that you're naive, but no, that was not the case at all. <laughs> Okay, so you got some exciting news coming in here and ready you are ready for love. This is clarifying passion. Try something that you've never done before. You've been understandably guarded, scared of being hurt again, but you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try new love again and you got new love coming in. Okay, you got new love coming in. There's some exciting news coming in regarding something or someone new. Good news is coming your way, whether it be a pregnancy, an engagement, or moving in together. Get excited to celebrate. That's clarifying the passion here. Someone is definitely checking you out. Give me one more card. Okay. <clears throat> 
You have fallen in love. The, it says the feeling of falling in love is one of a kind. Know that it is safe for you to be in love. <laughs> you got sexual healing at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> sexual energy can be used for reconnect. To reconnect. Let, let your bodies release some tension and enjoy pleasure. Okay. Somebody definitely wants to get next to y'all on a sexual level. Like, no, I mean, like, for real, okay? Like, for real. Someone is missing that sexual attention that, that you used to give them. That's just period. Just period. You guys, pay attention to your dreams and listen to your intuition. Your third eye is open. You see things very clearly. No one can um pull no no wool over your eyes because your glasses are very clear okay very 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 clear you just no we, you're not doing all that no more you have learned your lessons you have spiritually awakened okay some of y'all gonna get some get somebody gonna come in at y'all on valentine's day because i'm doing this video on tuesday <clears throat> and um yeah y'all got something coming in for real um somebody here is really stressing you got nine of swords at the bottom of the deck nine of swords at the bottom of the deck so what's going um in the recent past we have the six of wands you're kind of a big deal, so start acting like it, okay? Could have been dealing with Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, you got the Page of Cups. This is in the recent past. Somebody definitely wanted su success with you. And um, you were getting a lot of recognition, a lot of attention. But something happened. Something happened here. Now someone, someone was stressing out. Someone, um, this could be a, a a really spiritual connection that you have with someone in the in the in the. This was in the near past. Why is the six of wands here? With let's clarify the six of wands. Somebody here possibly liked a lot of attention. Also, why is the six of wands here for Virgo for the near past? Oh, we got a lot of cards here. We have justice. Could have been dealing with a Libra. The Seven of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. This is, you know, you protecting yourself or, you know, you could have had a lot of people coming at you and you have to protect yourself. And here's your energy, the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo. You decided to step back and focus on, you know, you, your, your, your stability, your money. Because something came to the light with you with the sun card here. You were enlightened about something and somebody here likes a lot of attention. And then they wanted to come and apologize to you. Why is the page of cups here for Virgo? Why is the page of cups here for Virgo? Yeah, the two of swords. Somebody here had a decision to make possibly between two. But guess what? You know how um, you be... So there was definitely a decision to make between two people here. But you know how on some of the... The two of swords is just one person. And they're... And they're, and they're um, they have something covering their eyes. Look, whoever you was dealing with knew exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing. They saw everything that was going on, okay? And this could also be you. You knew that somebody was putting you in a position where you were an option. 
Yeah, because at the bottom of the deck, we got the Five of Wands. This is competition. And then the other card that flipped over is the Six of Swords. So you decided to move on. Yeah. You decided to definitely move on. What's going on in the present moment for Virgo? What's going on in the present moment for Virgo? What's going on in the present moment for Virgo, God Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit? What's going on in the present moment? What do you have for Virgo in the present moment? We have the Hermit. This is definitely your energy. You are doing some doing the soul searching. Trying to figure things out. There are some things that must be done on your on your own. This is, you know, getting spiritually connected. Some of you guys are just, you know, just chilling, just you know, getting yourselves together. But I mean you have to you have to get away from somebody here. And we have the nine of wands. It would take a hell of a lot more to defeat you. You know, you're a fighter. Whoever you was dealing with definitely had a lot of passion for you. I mean, maybe it started out like a sexual thing, probably fans with benefits. But at the end of the day, this person fell in love with you. Somebody here fell in love with somebody, okay? Mm-hmm. The five of swords is at the bottom of the deck. And this is in the this is in the present moment. So you're probably you're you are you are you are you're by yourself a lot right now. You guys are doing a lot of praying, meditating, getting connected spiritually. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here for Virgo, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit? Why is... Mm. Yeah, the king of cups. You're loving on yourself right now. You're definitely ready. You are emotionally available. You are ready to offer your love. You have went through, you know, the healing process. And you're ready for love. You are ready. And you could be searching now, you know, on the low, low. The hermit, you know, you by yourself for, you know, you, you, you keep it to yourself. But your eyes is not closed. You know what I'm saying? Your eyes is not closed. Give me some more on the Hermit and the King of Cups for Virgo, God, Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you're going to have options here. Seven of Cups. Be careful. Of what you choose. Take your time. Don't jump into anything. Because you got plenty of time. Ooh, ooh, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is what you want. <laughs> so I told you, somebody, ooh, we, y'all, ooh, we. I ain't gonna say too much about that, but y'all be putting it down. You got passion here on the table. You got the Ace of Wands. You got somebody that was obsessing over your um sexual healing situation. This is why I tell y'all to be careful. Y'all could be seeing synchronicity numbers too, seven, seven. Um, you got the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. And this could be, you know, you're strategizing. You're not, you're going to be very, very careful of what you do in your next situation. You know what I'm saying? But you could also have a sneaky person around you. And somebody is trying to come back. Remember? Somebody's trying to come back. So keep your guards up. Keep your guards up. You're very alert. You're very alert. Your eyes are open. You know, you see things very clearly now. Why is this nine of wands here? The nine of wands is being clarified by temperance. Somebody still wants to fight for you. Somebody still wants to fight for you. You definitely, you know, you get you you've gotten yourself balanced. 
And you definitely have protection here. You are protected. So, I would concentrate, pretty much, I would just still concentrate on me. Someone is, come. universe is sending someone in for you. And you're going to have a lot of options here. But still, there's a sneaky person around. Excuse me, y'all. Feel like I'm trying to catch a cold. Something is coming in here very quickly, too. Some of you guys could be moving. There's some quick, fast communication that's going to be coming in. Maybe you guys haven't been doing anything lately, but something is about to pick up. Something is definitely about to pick up, and it looks like it's going to be your love life. Because you definitely got some people out here that are secretly admiring you. And they have a lot of passion for you. They're very Somebody here is very attracted to you. Give me some more on the Nine of Wands for Virgo. The Page of Cups again. You got the Page of Cups right here. Somebody secretly admiring you. Somebody wants to apologize to you. This person has a big cup to offer, too. You're like, mm, nah, I I'll pass. That's a hermit again. You got the light up on this person. <laughs> Look at here. You got the light on them. Like, no, mm -mm, nah, we good. <laughs> we good. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the near future. What's going on in the near future for... Virgo. What's going on in the near future for Virgo, God Angels? Ancestors, Holy Spirit. What's going on in the near future? The Ace of Swords. This is clarity. Universe giving you clarity. And you have the Five of Swords. Oh my God. Uh, you can't be right all of the time. And then look at you. You're bursting with sparkly new ideas yeah so let's see what this is about and at the bottom of the deck we have the king of swords this is you cutting out anything you no longer that no longer serves you but you could also have a gemini libra aquarius that's coming in here on a shady level too okay yeah Trying to be manipulative, playing mind games with you. But you already know the truth. You already know the truth about this situation. Yes, you do. Give me some clarification on the Five of Swords. Give me some clarification on the Five of Swords. Y'all got a very strong connection coming in. Or whoever you was dealing with, y'all had a very, very spiritual connection with this person. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Look what popped out. <sighs> the Queen of Wands. I told y'all, somebody is so attracted to y'all ass. Look at all that fire. But this is who you are. Your confidence is like to the roof. You're looking good. You're smelling good. You're very confident. You go for what you want. You're getting it. But you got a very personal. You got somebody that's come going to come towards you like, whoa. So you better keep your eyes open. Don't let this person sneak up on you now. Because if they do, honey, honey, it's going to be on and popping. Because <laughs> that's what they want. They're going to try to manipulate them undies off. Okay? Like, for real. Because they want it. They want it. But, like I said, you're too alert. You're too alert right now. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this queen of wands with the five of swords? Yeah, they spying on you. The page of swords, somebody that's spying on you, that's very attractive to you. And they damn, they coming, they coming in, Knight of Cups. They coming in to make an offer and tell you how they feel. Y'all, this could also be a new person now. This could all could also be a new person that's that's got their eyes on you and um, getting ready to make a move. Somebody wants to make sure that you're not dealing with anybody, too. 
Why is this Ace of Swords here? Somebody's doing their homework here. Somebody's checking you out. The Ace of Swords is being clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Whoever this person that was, that was very manipulative, you got the clarity that they was given to other people. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, they were definitely juggling you. You got the Eight of Wands. Something, something is definitely about to move in fast. There's going to be some communication that's going to be coming in here fast. Some of y'all might... Ooh, look what popped out while I'm shuffling. The Seven of Swords. Please be careful. Yeah, be careful, careful, careful of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be that sign. Y'all could be any sign. But particularly an air sign. Very heavy here. That's going to try to manipulate their way back to you. And some of them going to try to use sex. If y'all like they sex, ooh wee, ooh wee. <laughs> and you ain't had none in a minute, ooh wee, ooh wee. <laughs> Some of y'all might go for that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because they want to work it out. Eight of Pentacles. They want to work it out. This could be somebody y'all work with. Or this could be somebody coming in. Let's work this out. Because they definitely obsessively thinking about you. And your passion. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, for real, for real. But some of y'all, they sneaky. As, use your intuition. And it's on high. Look here. Use your intuition. High priestess. Yeah. But the majority of you guys are going to decide to be single with the Nine of Pentacles. But like I said, like I said, y'all, this day is going to be tricky on Valentine's Day because somebody going to come around Valentine's Day. They going to put it on thick. Y'all been like, y'all been by, because y'all been in hermit mode. We saw the hermit here twice. If y'all ain't been connected with nobody and oh my god somebody come up and you be like damn oh no some of y'all might give on that sexual level <laughs> some of y'all might give it up i'm just saying i'm just saying let me get an outcome here what's the outcome here for a virgo because your video is going in it's going in long mode Give me an outcome here, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Ooh, some of y'all going to reject this person. Yeah, this rejection is actually divine protection. And then because you've learned your spiritual lesson on this situation, give me some advice. Give me some advice, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is the advice for Virgo? Love. You definitely got love coming in. You got love coming in. A new person. Definitely got a new person coming in. And then you have financial health at the bottom of the day. You know, be careful of your spending. I see that you are very prosperous. But let's get the uh, magical meanings. Uh, let me see love. Let me see love. Uh, uh, what is the magical meaning for love? Come on. Okay, work. This says work with a rose quartz crystal, and this is a rose quartz crystal. If you're if you're wanting to manifest it, you can work with a rose quartz crystal. Accept and believe in who you are, and it's safe both um, to give and receive love. Like I say, you ready to you ready for love, but you're gonna have somebody that's gonna come in here and try to tempt you. Okay, and it says. Honor your true feelings. Honor your true feelings. Let's see what this financial health is at the bot at the back of the deck. This financial health. It says set. It says stop your extravagance. Spend wisely. Seek professional advice. Money owed is paid off. Expect a windfall. That's why I say you guys are gonna. You're gonna. You're prospering. There's some prosperity coming in for you. And you're going to have some people, as I say, keep that to yourself. Nobody needs to know your what your financial situation is, okay? And that just keeps down, you know, beggars. 
It says someone is indebted to you. Have faith as your financial life heals. Yes. Okay, Virgo, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Love you.